there, it's Karen here. Welcome back. And we're working today on Rocky's Weekly Challenge, week 18. I haven't managed to do week 17, I just haven't had the time. Um, but I did put in another video to replace it just because I thought that might happen. And I think I'm just going to carry straight on. I may go back to do it one day, who knows. But um, for now, I'm going to concentrate on the current week, which is week 18. And what we'll be making is garden-themed book page collage ephemera. So basically what we're doing is we're making little garden scenes on our book pages and then cutting them into ephemera. Um, so I'm just going to put my book aside because I have to I have to write it down otherwise I can never remember what we're doing and what week we're on. And um, so I think I might not start with this very small one until I get into my groove because I don't really know quite how this is going to go. And all I've got really is two quite large pieces of paper, um, book page, cut in half. This is from a lovely nature book, and the, the, the paper's quite thick and it's a lovely creamy colour, I really like it. And this is from some older uh, book page that I got in a kit from, from Rachel from Rockety Creations. So this is French. And I think they both make really nice background papers. So I'm going to start, I think, with, oops, with this one. Just put those aside for a minute. Start with this lovely piece. It's a good size and it will go into three good tags, I think. And I've got a whole load of fussy cut flowers here to make start making our little gardens. I don't know how this is going to go. I've got a variety of bits that I want to try and put on here. But um, this one I'm determined to, get to use because I spent ages fussy cutting it. It's a quite a, <laughs> a bit of a pain to cut out. So I thought, well, I'm going to use that one because I've worked so hard to get it cut out. So that's just going to make a start with that one. I don't know how it will go. I've got a few nice tall slim ones. Oh, that's a little, not, it's almost too tall that one, isn't it? I'll have to save that for another one. So maybe maybe this little one here, next to the blue, nice bit of yellow. Um, and will that go together? Is that maybe do that a little bit taller? So another slim one. So I think we've got one, two, we've got three tags built in here. And see if I've got another another one that will take up a reasonable amount of I don't really want another blue one, do I? Let's see what else I've got. got this pretty one. And maybe I could put a bit of this behind it. Up there. Maybe like that. No, a bit, bring this over a little bit. Just go off to the side a touch. Maybe like that. Yeah, I think they would be, that would look okay. So I'm going to, I'm not going to use glue stick, it's too dangerous. I'm going to use our glitter glue to, set, to glue these on. And uh, yeah, we're making a start. I've got a few other bits to add on top. So they're kind of going to get layered up so that they look, give them a bit of depth. But I think we're going to start start with the flowers and then we'll add other bits afterwards. So actually that came together a little bit quicker than I expected. So that's good. I'm sure there'll be one that I'll really struggle with. So I hope everybody is well. We've... Uh, not long come back. Well, last weekend, as I think I mentioned, we were away for for four days uh, visiting our friends in Norfolk. Uh, they don't live very far from the coast, so we did spend one day. Uh, we went to one of the seaside towns there, uh, Cromer, which is quite a well-known uh, town, um, and had a really lovely fish and chip lunch. But the weather was pretty rubbish. It was windy and it was cold, and we were dressed all in our winter woolies. I had a hat on and yeah, it wasn't the best <laughs> considering it was the last weekend in April. It was um a bit a bit miserable. Um and then just Richard and I just had a little drive up the coast, stopping off, having a blow along the one of the beaches. 
when I say a blow, I really mean a blow. It was uh, teeth to the wind. In the teeth of the wind, should I say. We were walking into the teeth of the wind. I knew there was teeth in there somewhere. And um, you had to grit your teeth, really, to... Uh, now, how was I going to do that? I was going to put up there a bit, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Put that up. Whoops, not too far up. Put that up a little bit. And then have just this one. This is really pretty, like a little daisy. Yeah, so that was one day. One day we had a nice uh, Sunday lunch. We met our friends for, for lunch. We didn't, we weren't with them every minute of the day, but we met up with them every, you know, for some of the time each day. So on that day, we met them for Sunday lunch and, and then we all went back to our own places because we were just in a little cottage, a lovely little cottage, two bedrooms, just right. And we were able to invite them over to eat with us the first evening. We just brought pizzas with us and they came over and joined us and that was really nice. And then we just sat and had, had a bit of a catch up with them, which was lovely. And um, it's nice to get a big enough place that we can do that. That's what we like to do. So that we go to theirs, they come to us, and it, it's it's nice. And um, and then on the final, on the Monday, me and my friend went into Norwich and did some shopping. Not that I bought much, but I was looking for shoes for the wedding. I have got some old one, older shoes that I can wear and they'll be fine. But I thought if I see some nice ones, I might get them, but I didn't. But we just had, we enjoyed mooching around the shops together. We had a bit of lunch. It's just a nice girly shopping trip. It's what we like to do when when uh, when I go down there. It's usually put a day aside for us to have a shop together. That was lovely. And then on the Sunday morning, they were actually running, I think it's too close. Just yeah. on the Sunday morning there was a, a marathon running it was called the Norfolk Marathon and it ran through the little village that we were staying in which we weren't expecting and um, first Richard and then I joined him when I'd got myself together we went and cheered them on well, we just sort of stood by the side and everybody was standing and cheering even a little village they had lots of support it was lovely Um. And Richard got really, really enjoyed it because he's he's a bit of a runner, but he's he's a, he was aspires to do a marathon, but has not yet done it. He's not he's done um, shorter runs, but he doesn't hasn't done the, the marathon or a half marathon yet. But he really wants to, and I think watching that go by, and he was thinking some of the people the running past doing the marathon didn't look any fitter than him. <laughs> Or some of them were older than him. Uh, many were younger, and I think it made him think, oh, "I might do this next year." And he's, he's really keen. And then he'd already entered, but this morning he did actually run a ten ten k run, which is obviously a quarter of a marathon. And he's done a few of those, but he has had some Achilles trouble, so he hasn't done hadn't done one for a while. He did one three weeks ago. That was the first time he'd done one in. <clears throat> A long time, <clears throat> but um, yeah, he's getting back to full, full health. So, at least as far as his ankle's concerned, it still can feel it a little bit. But I think he really now wants to try and build up and do something a bit longer, a bit more challenging. Right. So, um, this one. Let's see where should we, where should we start with this? Let's find something. Something pretty. I don't know why I'm starting from the right and moving across. I don't know why. Just the way it feels right. I haven't quite fussy cut all the little holes in this, but I don't think I'm going to. It's just well, these two are glaring at me. I might just I might just cut those out, but I think the little ones they'll just maybe I'll go over them with a bit of ink or something after if it looks if they're standing out too much, we'll see. Let's get this pin in. Um, yeah, I might just cut, fussy cut those two little, little bits there that are kind of re a bit bigger. Yeah, so, um, unfortunately, while over the weekend, my I began to get some real, starting to get some pain in my shoulder. It was really 
particularly at night, it was really getting uncomfortable to lie on, so I was I was struggling a bit. Most of the week now, I mean, this is now Sunday, again, the following Sunday, and it's it's getting a lot better now, but it has been a bit of a problem this week. Couldn't go to Pilates, which I was sad about, but I couldn't I couldn't lie on it. Um, and of course, we spend a lot of the time on the floor, lying on one side or on our back or on our front, and I couldn't do any of that, so didn't seem a lot of point in going, unfortunately. But um, I think I'll be fine to go back this week. I was really worried I wouldn't be able to come in and do my videos this week, you know, that uh, this weekend because that's when I was hoping to do some to catch up a little bit, because the the last video that I'd prepared ahead. Um, you'd have seen on Monday, which is the Moroccan Journal, part 8, I think. And that was it. That was my full catalogue all, all done and uploaded. And I thought, if I don't get in here this weekend, I won't have anything else to to upload. So I'm kind of trying to get back into it now. But it helped. Having, I was glad I had that bit of um, filming ahead period when I, was good, when I was in good shape because it... it covered me for this period when I when I just couldn't get in here. What that one that was too long, wasn't it? Let's put it somewhere. Don't keep grabbing for it. Got a few I've got another box here with just roses in. I just I think it was a a kit of fussy cut roses. I thought I might just see and maybe I could use some of those. Something like that, maybe. Well, they all tend to be one colour. And I seem to have got a few other things mixed in here as well, randomly. Like this one. That one could go there. Um, I don't know if I need anything else. I don't know if I need a something, something little, maybe. Down the bottom here. Little, this little one, no, that doesn't work. <coughs> well, this one might might go in here, and then they're going to be the same colour on the same. It's going to be. We're going to do two tags. It's hard to know how these are going to work out, isn't it? Uh. No. Well, this something small. I think this is a bit too much. I'm going to cut this off. It's a bit. Too much foliage sticking out the side, I think. And if I can just pop that there. No, I want to dip feel that space, didn't I? Not that space. So maybe, maybe just sort of there. And then trim off what I don't need. Something like that. Let's see. Okay. We'll go with that. A couple of little ones here that I might... I'll just pull out the small ones that I might pop in here and there. And another one. Just glue these on. sure about this one. 
the moment. I might just leave that in the middle there. Because I've got other things I can pop in to fill those spaces, haven't I? So, just not sure there's enough flowers for the background. So, I might just see what else I might pop in. Let's see. Put that one there. Maybe this one would look good here. Yeah. Or even there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just put this on. Just to give it a bit more depth to the background. Then we'll be putting things in front. Bring it down a little. And that one. There. Trim off the bits we don't need. Um, let me see this go. Don't want to use those. I want to use those. Got this smaller one now. Maybe I'll make two journal cards. And we need something a little bit bigger than that. This one somewhere. That's a lovely one. I've got a whole pile behind at the back of my desk. I just pulled these, these are all just waiting to be fussy cut. I just didn't have time to do it. Oh no, that one, that one's been done. Don't know how that got caught up in there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have a bit of a fussy cutting session. I haven't been doing that so much at Craft Club. That's what I was doing a lot of the time at Craft Club, was sitting and fussy cutting things, but um I needed a break from that. Gosh, this is very pastely. Right, that one I've used. Quite a lot of these <coughs> are from Roxy Creations. But not all. Some of them are from just from books. Put that there, like that. Layer it up a bit. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to put that there, do I? Something a bit more substantial. I think this one I'll probably cut in into two. <coughs> Just case of whether whether the finish your sentence, woman. Um, what was I doing? What was I saying? Whether I need a big whether this looks better. I don't know what I was, I don't even know what I was trying to say. I'm trying to decide maybe behind there. Yeah, maybe that would be better. And then 
If I take a piece of paper. A clear piece of probably be, a white piece would probably be better, but I could cut it there and then we'd have something here. That might be alright. You'll have that down there. Oh, need to take a bit more of that white off though, don't I? Put this one here. Okay. One under there. One there. Hmm. Move you down. I knew there's one that would stretch me a bit. Right. Glue in this one. whether the white one is too white. Whether I would like something with a bit more depth of colour like that one. I'll lift that leaf up a bit. <clears throat> I might just want to overlap it a touch. No, I don't. I don't want to do that. To put that there. this on. Glue that up there. I'm not sure about this piece. It's, um, I don't know, it just don't quite work for me. Wrong shape. I prefer them to be going up and down. Maybe the, maybe the white one will find a place after all. Maybe I'll put this one here. Fills out that space a bit better. Have the white one on the end. We'll see. I'll put this blue one here and see if I <clears throat> can find one that works on the end. one. What have I got? I've got quite a few fairly fairly tall. Well, I don't think that colour works but taller ones from, from books which I might use. Oh, this is a really sweet one. I might put that somewhere. Ooh. That might go there. Oh yes. Well, I'll come back to that. And the home for that on another page. Okay, we've got this guy again. It's too much leaf, isn't it? Too leafy. What about you? This nice. Oh, that's quite nice. Let's 
a possibility. Nope, not that one. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I think that's the one. Yep. <clears throat> Quite. I just spotted this. I don't know. Pop this little tulip in the front there as well. I like this. This is lovely. So that's going on here. This little, <laughs> this little tulip right there. That's from my kit by um, Rachel Bella Crafts. I bought recently. Okay, so I think that one's going to go there. Yeah, like that. Okay, so that's that one. Let's pop these back in in their various containers. I think we're all good now. I think three is going to be plenty for me to finish today. And I did I decided this little little violas. Love these. They're just gonna pop in that little space there. Needed a little something. Very sweet. Right, now we need to put something on to give it a bit more depth and background, or depth and interest. So, um, for Rachel, she used birds and butterflies, which I have also pulled out. Let me just put all my flowers, I think, put them all away now. I don't think I'm going to need more flowers. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Ah, she put a bit of um, extra. I got this already as well, and I completely forgot to do it. A um, little bit of extra book page or script or something in the background, but I haven't done it. I totally forgot. So, my bad. I won't be. Uh, I won't be doing that. <laughs> it's a shame. Never mind. But I've got other stuff on. Don't suppose it will matter very much. Okay, so I've got this to start with. That's not looking e even a little bit straight across the bottom there. I don't know why. I'm sure I'll cut it with my cutter, but it doesn't seem to cu cut straight. So I'm just going to cut, straighten that up before I do anything else. Not quite sure what, what happened there. There we are. birds here but I've also brought along a few other things to put on that I thought might work as well. Um, so the birds are at the ready. Got a nice little collection of small birds that might work rather well. But I've also brought in a few ladies that I've fussy cut from a kit by Ruby and Pearl, I think they're called, um, called Ladies of Letters and I saw Wendy using some of these um, in one of her envelope videos and I thought I really liked them and then I thought they would look lovely. Some of the pictures, like for instance this lady here sitting in a deck chair is actually from this piece and she's in the garden and there were a couple of them were already sitting in the garden, this other one on her chair sitting in the garden so I thought well I'll put them back in my garden. I, I've cut off the top of our umbrella by mistake but I don't think it matters too much so I could start with her which could just pop her there so we're going to do three tags won't we so if I was to put her there that would look quite nice um, 
and I could have a bird try and find a suitable small bird for the other side see what I've got never quite got the right bird for what I want they're either not big enough or they're not small enough I could do that one no, I don't like that I knew this would be the bit that would challenge me, finding a bird. I always struggle finding the bird that I like. Some of these things. It's a bit lost on there, isn't he? Would he go on here? I could pop him in there, I suppose. I'm doing three tags, kind of nestling amongst those flowers, maybe. So, <clears throat> let's see, cut it there, and I could cut it there. Well, he might lose a tail. So, let's see what we've got <clears throat> over here. What are these cute little blue ones that could pop up there? Maybe they would work there. Again, okay, let's just cover it up. I don't know. Looks like something needs to go up here, but it could be a butterfly. That doesn't really work. I'm going to cut, I'm going to glue on these two. I might go for the one that I looked at earlier. I really like this on here. here somewhere. about this little guy down here. Yeah, he'll be fine down there. Just a little one at the bottom and then I'll put a butterfly at the top. Or a label or something. Okay, you can go in there. <clears throat> okay. Took a while. Right, let's do this one. And get these, some of these birds out of the way. Um, I really like these ladies. I'm wondering about this one. She's sitting, sitting in her armchair. I like her right there. Oh, I don't know. Was this going to be? How, how was I going to cut this one? So I'm going to do three tags again. Because that would make a lovely tag, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Oh, these are the same birds I used on the last one, aren't they? Nope, don't do that. 
this guy here. Yeah, I might pop him there, but I need to take the, bit, the white bit out of his between his between his legs. I've got this one. He would go rather well on there. You down there. his tail up behind there so that it's hidden behind my lady and he can go we're going to lose quite a lot of him but I do think he goes quite well on there yeah okay we'll do that That one. Yeah, coming along. I hope they're going to be okay when they're finished. And then I've got this one, this smaller one. I really want to use her. She could go really well there. That would go, but I think maybe that's a bit too matchy matchy. What about if I put her here? rather nice and I've got this one these are just the four I picked out that I thought would might work quite well she's sitting on a sofa and I might get rid of some of that actually it's a bit too much I might turn this sofa into an armchair You'll get the impression of her sitting on something. Oops, that went that way. And she could be there. I might just <clears throat> take a little bit more off here. Just take her dress down a touch. Yeah. I rather I like the late the idea of these ladies reading in the garden. Yeah, those I like. I find they're easier to to work with than the birds. I'm not I'm not good with birds. I've got lots of them, but I do struggle to use them. All right, there they are ensconced in their gardens. Put some of these birds away. I'm sure I'll find a use for them. I say I've got plenty. So we might look to see if we've got some butterflies that would work really well. So this might need a small one. This little blue one there, is that too big? I've got some really small ones here. I'll just tip them out, see if I can find one that would look nice. I'm looking at that one. That's going to go on there. we can put over here maybe. I think that might be a moth. Not sure about the moth. Yeah, little one there. Just a little one. Okay. 
okay, I think that's, I've got to just back these. I might do that quickly off camera before we finish so that um, I've only got time to do that in the video. Right, a bunch of butterflies here. About that one. Yep, I think I might use that one. Maybe I'll do it about there. Alright. And anything up here? There's this little one here, that's a nice one. Nope, like that cover. I'm nearly as fussy about my flowers as I'm about my birds. Flowers. Butterflies is what I meant. Actually, I like that one. I've decided. Okay. touch on those. Last one. How would this look up here? Weirdly I quite like it. What about there? Ooh, I like that more there. Actually, I like it down here. And we need one something up here. So this one that's a sticker. I quite like that. I might just put that on. So I think it's a <clears throat> it's a vellum sticker. If I can get the backing off. That's it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we want a little one up here. One of my baby ones. No. Right, so I'm going to tidy this up and I'll just put the backings on them before I cut them up. And then we might just add a label or a word or two or a phrase or something like that. So I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Um, had a bit of lunch in the meantime, but I have now covered all the backs of these. So this one, um, I think this is might have been an Artie Maze, but I tend to put by any papers in any kit that I've got, doesn't matter what it is, if it's got a sort of fairly neutral background, 
but maybe it's got like these have got little tiny very pale roses in it's just got a little bit of um, pattern so it's not completely plain I keep them together in a in a back in a one of my folders um, because they're really nice for backing and they're a bit more interesting than perhaps just plain coffee dyed paper which I also use sometimes so that's what I've done with that one I think this what's this one this one's got a another piece from another kit which has got very very faint butterflies on it so it's fine for writing on and this one I've used one of the um, Roxy Creations backing papers which I love so that's on there so let's just start cutting these up and see what they look like and I've got some words and labels and things just to finish them off so hopefully I can get that done in the time I have no idea where I'm how I'm doing on the time really I feel like I've been going quite a long while I knew this video would take quite a while okay right there so we've got that one that one and my lovely lady I think these were going to be my favorites then I've got this smaller one which is going to we're going to do into two journal cards so I'm just gonna kind of I'm not really measuring I'm just putting it where I think it makes a good spot to spot to um, cut them so I've got this one and I've got this one which could be my favorite another favorite oh another one I like coming up here as well so just trying to do it so I'm not chopping off any vital bits, any beaks or anything, but a bit of tail. I think they can sacrifice a bit of tail. Okay, and that's so we've got that one. Oh well, another favourite, that one, and that one. Right. So I think first of all I'm going to just cut them to shape Right, let us just add a little something to finish these off, a little word. I will link them. I shall probably just put hole punch them. This is a journal card. I've rounded the corners on this one, so that won't need anything more. Unless I add a little piece of fabric or something. Right, so I've got... some Tim Holtz words here. So I thought mm, that doesn't show very well down up there, does it? I put that up there. Put that down there. I still think it needs a little something. I wonder if I can just find a little label or something. these something small I don't want to cover up the butterfly something narrower Got anything narrower blue again do I? That's in, got enough blue on this one. I'll find something narrow. I 
Nope, that's not working. That's not. They're, they're the wrong size. I want some. Not narrow. Uh, just small. About one of these. No. I've got a little teeny one here. Maybe that will do it. Might be enough just to fill that little space. Some of these edgy bits that keep coming up. Also gluing them when I was back putting the backing papers on as well and they still keep coming up. Couldn't have glued them very well. I don't want that one. I want a dry one. I can see her toe coming up as well. This is too bright. Not quite like that there. I'll just tuck it under those leaves as they're not sticking down properly. Yep, that's going to go on there. Now, I think some of these are label paper. They're a pain to get off. Done it. Under there, Zip. now I can glue them down. This one needs anything. It's got a little little something in the background there from the actual paper, so I'm going to leave that one as it is. Uh, she needs a little something here, I think. Um, some nice Tim Holtz things there. Into it. It's not going to show up, is it? Mm -mm. It will show up better. side here maybe. Colour do we want? Green? Purple? Oh they're very it's a very big font. This one's got a Ooh, yeah. Okay. Let's put that one on. the extra pop of colour that brings. Didn't think I would. 
You never know what colour you're going to want on these papers, on these little pieces. Oops. I may well sew around these as well afterwards. That's the one that's doing there. Alright, so that's that one. Put these back in. Um, what have we got else? We've got <clears throat> last three tags. Oh, there's not a lot of room on these. This one needs something, doesn't it? they've got a little something at the top and they've been inked around they will look much more finished hmm this lady doesn't <coughs> need much I want just a little word a little word there Okay, that one. And what does this one need? Maybe a little something in the middle. What about a number? Right there. Yep, going for it. Just trying to be, make quick decisions. Not my best thing. Also not my best thing, getting the backing off these labels. Got it, I think. Yeah. Right, there we go. <laughs> Reminding me of all the runners with all their numbers on their backs this morning. And it was very nice because uh, Jenny and her family came and joined us so to support support Richard on his on his run, and then we all went and had a late breakfast, or in some of us cases, it's second breakfast after the run, and that was really nice as well. So Alyssa was there to cheer him on. She quite enjoyed it, and it was oh, it's been a beautiful day. It was a lovely morning to be out. Anyway. Let's just quickly look at what we've made. Aren't they pretty? Really pleased with these. I especially love the ones with these ladies. I've not used them before. And I just um I just think they're they're really lovely. And these couple of journal cards as well. There we go. Little collection of garden garden themed tags and journal cards. So that's it. Thanks for joining me for this today. It was lots of fun and nice to do something different to what I'm working on, um, to the journals I'm working on, because it's just nice to come, kind of veer off and do something a little bit different, isn't it? So I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.